Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. It's great to be with you today. We are in Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 is where we're going to start. And uh, I am wearing one of my favorite shirts again. This is uh, actually one of our favorite organizations in Brazil, Blessings for Brazil. And um, they are headquartered up in Natal, and they just do great work. Johnny and Lucia do great work in bringing the love of Christ to the people in that city and that surrounding area. And hey, don't forget, we have an Awaken event coming up in Natal. Um, actually, three events. We've got a an event for um, young people, a youth event, you know, high schoolers, middle, middle schoolers, college age kids um, happening in July. And then we have two big events in February where it's going to be a big Awaken event and an Awaken Aid event and more information coming soon. But please, right now, just pray for the city of Natal and the churches there. Well, like we've been kind of going through this situation with Daniel and the dudes, you know, his, his three guys that were friends. And um, they're in a situation where they're, they're praying, their life is on the line, you know, it's certain death for them and for the other uh, wise men that are surrounding Nebuchadnezzar. They're desperate. They need God to do a work. It's an impossible situation. And God comes through and reveals this vision in the night that Nebuchadnezzar has, and not only that, but the interpretation. This is Daniel's first response. The Bible says, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, to whom belong wisdom and might. He changes times and season, seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise, and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what is in the darkness and the light dwells with him. To you, O God of my fathers, I give, say the word with me, thanks and praise. For you have given me wisdom and might and have now made known to me what we asked of you. For you have made known to us the king's matter. I mean, you can imagine, right, the total relief in Daniel's heart as this supernatural work of God, God revealing. I just would encourage you to go through this particular prayer of praise, read it, reread it, let it sink in, really think about um, what it is that Daniel says about God and how grateful Daniel is. But I love that this is Daniel's first response. You know, Daniel's first response isn't, uh, dude, get me to the king. You know, I've got to like, I've got to, I got to settle him down. I've got to reveal this and I've got to save my life and the lives of people around me. You know, while that might seem like an appropriate response, what he does first is he thanks God. He just gives God praise. Um, this is Daniel's heart. I love this about him. I love this about him. You might be thinking today, man, that's just so rudimentary and so obvious and rhetorical. Like, how can you even think that that's an insightful thing to say to me today, Derek? That's just obvious. But it's not obvious. It's not obvious. You know, oftentimes we pray we're, we're in a conundrum. You know, we're in this huge challenging circumstance and situation. Like it's just crazy all around us. We're begging, pleading God to do something and God does it. He answers. And then sometimes, you know, we don't even acknowledge him. We don't even spend a moment in gratitude thanking him. Oftentimes, you know, we can be so concerned about the crisis that we're in that we move right on to the next one and don't pause and contemplate the goodness of God. And not only that, check this out, but, but all that we learn about God in the situation. Like for instance, in, in this particular situation, God revealed to Daniel that he's omniscient. He knows all things. Doesn't matter if it's the light or the darkness, it's all the same to him. He knows those things that are hidden away, that are concealed, you know, from the human reasoning and understanding. And so Daniel's like reflective enough in this moment where he is pulling out of this situation new revelation 
concerning God. Um, it might be not even necessarily new. Maybe he, as a, you know, a young Hebrew man that was really sharp, he knew some of these things, but they were refreshed in his mind. And he, you know, he took the moment not only to give the revelation to Nebuchadnezzar that Nebuchadnezzar needed, but he took the moment as a, a personal opportunity to grow in his own understanding of God, a revelation that God was not just giving him to hand to other people, a revelation that God was giving to him so that he could learn about God. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about this and in my own life, you know, I mean, application always begins first with me, but this is just an encouragement that I'm taking away um, because God's always doing stuff. You know, he's always coming through. He's always answering prayer. There's so much, you know, that he's doing that I know I need to just pause and reflect and think about what God is speaking to me through every circumstance and situation of my life and every faithfulness that he demonstrates is an opportunity for me to learn something new or to be refreshed in something I already know. And so let's do that together. Let's do it together. You know, if your life is so crazy, stinking busy that you don't have time for that, you need to slow your life down. You need to carve out some time. And I would encourage all of us just to do that today. Father, thank you. God, we bless your name. God, we do bless your name. You are good. And we need to, we need to meditate on what you're revealing to us through every good answer to prayer that you bring. And so thank you, Father, for your patience with us. May you bless us with new understanding, with the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.